Hi and welcome to GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions. I'm just going to give you my thoughts and a kind of review on the Beast X system, uh, also known as Micro Beast. Uh, you've got the Beast X Plus. There's all sorts of different versions available. And I'm not going to talk specifically about any one version. I'm just going to talk about the system as a whole. Now... It looks like a line of have now ditched the G Pro and gone to the Beast X system, which is interesting. And the G Pro is a, a unit that I've had, but because I needed either to buy a Bluetooth dongle or a lead with it, uh, I never actually used it. And that is one of the beauties of the, the Beast X system, is that you can program it using just the box and your transmitter. Now, when you look at these systems, they look fairly intimidating when you start going through the manual, looking at what you need to do to set up, talking about a frequency of servos and all different kinds of things you might not have ever seen before. And I'm sort of talking about this from the point of view of a you know, a weekend flyer, I'm not a pro heli flyer or anything. Uh, I just fly planes, helis, I fly pretty much anything, but I'm getting into a little bit of 3D flying with my helis I do. <clears throat> I'm learning to do inverted and things like that. And I've just moved over to fly barless helicopters. And if you're thinking about doing a change from fly bar to fly barless, I would definitely say yes, although it is intimidating at first because you need the little box there is a lot more setup. I would definitely do it. When you look at the heads on these helicopters, where I've got two ball joints on here, if that was a standard heli with a fly bar, I worked it out, there'd be about 16 ball joints that could fail, whereas I've got two on here. And then you've got sort of two other connections on top, uh, you know, and it's just such a, a much more simplified um, system. And it sort of makes sense as well, you know, the, the, the fly bar was there because we didn't have the electronics to be able to for it to not be there so now we've got the electronics to be able to do away with fly bars I, you know i honestly think that's the way people should go so the two beast systems i've got are the spectrum ar7200 beast x so that's a collaboration between spectrum and beast and over here i've got the micro beast in the align t-rex so there's another, not a reason necessarily to get it, but you've got companies like um, E-Flight and Blade, Spectrum and Beast and T-Rex all working almost together. And that's a, that creates quite a powerful system. And um, when it comes to advertising their products, you know, when you buy some of these products, it comes with Spectrum, it comes with Beast. So... You know, there's a lot of money being put into this and they're, they're, they're advancing all the time, which is why I said, you know, don't worry about which versions I've got. So I've got the 7200 Beast X and the Micro Beast version 3. So the key, I'd say one of the key things you to make your life easier uh, when you're using these systems is firstly is RTFM, read the fucking manual. Okay, you really must read the manual. Now, this manual is only in English, okay? And it's on both sides of the page, but it's it's visual, it's written well. There's a few mistakes in it, and there's a few bits where you just read it and think, what on earth did that mean? I actually read it and I was like, nope, didn't get it, read it again, still didn't get it. Perhaps go onto the internet, have a little look around, see what other people are saying. All right, now I get it. So definitely need to read the manual before you even think about starting setting these up because it will make it so much easier when you actually come to start setting them up. Perhaps look on YouTube for, a, there's a couple of good uh, videos about going through step by step because the way they do this, it's an A to N system. So you start at A and you finish at N. Once you've gone through A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, you should be ready to go. But all I would suggest is once you've done it, you go through them all again. And again, that's another beauty of this system. You know, when I first took this over the field, I just said to someone who had experience with Beast X, said, uh, 
can you just check my, my flyby loss system to make sure it's doing what it should be doing? And he was able to go into the menu on the flyby loss system and actually look at how it was set up there and then. Um, and that brings me on to this little thing. I mean, you can put these PDFs on your phone, which makes it easier, but they give you a little cheat sheet, which is really handy, and it's like a plasticky stuff. And the idea is that goes in your field box and you can take that over the flying field with you, which is a nice touch. Now, the other piece of kit that I would definitely recommend is a digital pitch gauge. Very simple, you get the little box, like that, which just has, mine's, the battery's gone flat by the looks of it. I keep leaving it on and the uh, battery goes flat. It's twice I've done that now. Um, basically, that clips over your blades, like that. This clips on here, and you can adjust your pitch. And you definitely, definitely need that because there are when you're setting these up there are there's like there's one section where you have to set the blade to six degrees of pitch now there are other ways of doing that but these are cheap and cheerful I think this was about seven quid uh, you know it's worth every penny because it just makes your life so much easier and you, you once you set the blades to the six degrees on here the micro beast does something and it shows you whether it's going to be okay to fly or not and things like that so a real must-have when you're actually um, setting these up, and uh, I've set these up on a Spectrum and a Futaba, there's not an awful lot of difference really, to be honest, but generally you're using your transmitter, you'll go into the system menu, and once you've got onto the bit you want, it might be a case of when you're adjusting servos up and down, for instance, that you use a left and right on the rudder, or an up and down, um, something like that, I'm obviously mode one. Um, and that's how you sort of move the, the servos and that's how you control it. So, you know, other than a pitch gauge, you've pretty much got all the things you need already. Uh, and if you fly helis, you should have a pitch gauge anyway. Um, now, is this for everybody? I don't know. Uh, there are people that swear by the Vortex system. There are people that like the G-Pro system. And I'm sure they're all fine, uh, there's all other systems, but from my point of view, this system, the reason I decided to go into this system was because I bought a heli and it had one in it, I know that's not a great reason, but it worked absolutely perfectly out of the box. So I bought another one, put it on the T-Rex, went through the setup, again, it works absolutely perfect, it does everything I've told it to do. And even with the setup on the T-Rex, it was telling me it's not an optimal setup where, with regards to my linkages, because I didn't build this. It's better if you, you build it in, because you can build in the, the, the sort of the distance from your linkages. Um, I can amend it slightly, but I thought, no, I'll try it at the non-optimal, and it's absolutely fine. It works perfectly for me. And you can go in and you can keep adjusting and tweaking, but to be honest... I've set it and it's absolutely fine. It works um, perfectly. I, I, you know, there's nothing I come back from the field after the first sort of three or four flights thinking, oh, I need to change that. I've actually not changed anything since I set it up. Uh, the only thing I've changed on this is the, the governor in the um, speed controller, which is, you know, nothing to do with the beast X. So is it for beginners? Um, to be honest, if you're looking at this kind of heli, then I'd say yes, it's for you, because it's it. If you build it into the build-up time, the time it takes you to set it up on a fly barless system, if you detract from the, the time it would have taken you to build up a fly barred head, then you've got your your tail gyro setting up your tail gyro. You know you have to do that anyway, so it's not really. Um, a major issue. If I was swapping out a heli, taking the old head off, putting a new fly ballast head on, yes, you're going to spend, you know, maybe a morning or an afternoon or a couple of afternoons just sitting there going through each step and one by one and moving on to the next. And you can always go back to a step and think, oh, yeah, I'm not sure about that step G. Perhaps I need to go and have another look at that. And you can go back and, and you know, adjust at your leisure. That's the beauty of this system. So uh, overall, I think it's a, a fantastic system. It's made in Germany. It comes nicely packed. It's good instructions. I mean, I'm not sure what more you could want as, a, as what I'd call a you know, general sport slash little bit of 3D flyer. Um, I really 
can't see any issues with it. I'm sure if you was a, a full on Smackdown 3D, uh, uh, it might even be better for you because you can adjust it, you know, infinitely, or it may not quite work for you. I don't know, but it works for me. And um, it's one of those products that I would definitely recommend. And when I get my next heli, um, although I don't really need another heli at the moment, but when I get my next one, I would definitely be looking at a B-Stack system. So anyway, this is uh, GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Reviews and Opinions, with my thoughts on the Beast X system. Cheers, see you soon. Bye.